Hello, my name is Ashley, this is Faithful Rattos, and welcome or welcome back. So, in today's video I'm going to be talking to you about the types of enrichment for rats and how to give this to them. In my opinion, there are eight vital categories of enrichment when it comes to rats, and I'm going to go through these types of categories and the way that I've labelled them is the way that Asamu, Gemma, has labelled them in the past and I think it was a really ingenious way of labelling it and it's with a verb and an action doing word and what that type of enrichment allows them to do which natural behaviour it allows them to express. Gemma has a saying that is something like rats first, pets second, which means that you are doing everything for them for their needs before yourself. The first one is socialising. This is super, 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 super important. This is the most vital one in my opinion is rats need rat company. A rat that is by itself is not happy. It may seem happy when it sees you, but that is actually just a symptom of depression and loneliness that you are the only social company it has. So it's sort of unnaturally bonded to you in a way that is not healthy they do need rat company and if a rat is not able to live with other rats you need to try other things neutering things like that switching the groups that it lives in and if everything fails if it's still not getting along with other rats then in my opinion that is grounds for behavioral euthanasia that is how important having company is to rats it's important for them to keep warm for comfort and safety to have someone to play with for keeping clean someone to learn from it is so vitally important to rats that they have rat company that this is the first one and this is if I tell anyone anything about rats if they want to have them as pets the first thing I tell them is rats you need to have more than one ideally three or more a pair is not really a stable dynamic and it also puts you at risk for a lone rat situation so groups an absolute necessity for rats the second category is burrowing and nesting. Rats in the wild are fossorial animals this means that they live underground in their own burrows and burrow systems with their um, big colonies so we need to replicate this when we have them as pets so this involves giving them a substrate they can nest and burrow in giving them nesting material giving them hiding places obviously not too many we want our cages to be enriching and have other things there but we need to give them hiding places that they can sleep in and nest in and things like that. The third category I want to talk to you about is foraging. In the wild, rats are natural foragers. This means that they will go out and they will just look and scavenge for their food. So when we have them in captivity, we need to ensure that they have opportunities for foraging to stimulate their minds so they don't get bored and to replicate that natural behavior. It's actually quite relaxing and reassuring to them. So we need to use foraging toys, we need to scatter feed, we need to give them an appropriate diet that is in line with their natural behaviours, so that is a mix, this is not nuggets, nuggets are not an appropriate diet for rats. No matter how many vets tell you, no matter how many American rat owners tell you, rats are not designed to eat a pellet. They are not appropriate and you will not change my mind. The fourth category is running. So there is two things that you can do and that you should do for your rat, maybe three things that you can do for your rat to allow them to run first one is having a wheel in their cage. Now this is not vital as it is with other species but it can be very beneficial for rats and since having wheels in most of my cages I know my rats do love them. The second thing is to have obviously a cage with enough floor space to allow them to run and the third thing is time outside of the cage so that they can run in a bigger open space. Five, this is a set of natural behaviours, climbing, jumping and balancing. And the way that we give this to our rats is an active layout that allows them to keep fit and practice those skills. Climbing, jumping and balances, branches, ropes, different thicknesses of branches and ropes, different tautness, different stability levels of things in their cage is super, super important for their enrichment and for their health as well to keep them fit and active. The sixth enrichment type is digging and obviously this kind of goes along with the foraging and also with the nesting and the burrowing. Digging is a really important thing to rats and we need to allow them 
places to dig so this can involve a dig box in your cage but it must involve a deep layer of substrate in the cage at least a good few inches is super important of something that is diggable something that they can dig in is super super important and it doesn't have to be made for rats we often use horse substrate or you can use shredded paper in a dig box anything just a substance just something that they can dig in something that they can express that behavior in. The seventh thing is problem solving. Rats are extremely, extremely smart and we need to exercise their brain as well. So this does involve, as I mentioned, foraging toys and puzzle feeders and things like that. But this can also involve training, um, building a relationship and having a routine with them so they know what to expect and things like that. Problem solving is, is really important to rats and it's something that I recommend you focus on in your cage, lots of different foraging toys and switching them out and things like that. And the last section, the last category, number eight, is gnawing, which is very important for their teeth. Um, their teeth are made to be gnawed with on hard things, including their food and collecting nesting material, things like, like that. It brings them comfort to do that, so it is also good for that. Don't worry if the rats aren't doing it all the time, that is totally fine, or if you aren't seeing them doing it, but it is something that they should be able to naturally express. So having safe things to chew on is very important for them. So this can include non-edible things like safe woods for them to chew rats are very smart and they won't eat this so they will, they will just chew on it they actually have a flap in their mouth that closes when they're nibbling on things that they're not going to eat and then also edible things like you know dog chews and things like that yak chews for example and yeah so those are the eight categories that i like to talk about when it comes to rat enrichment I hope this video was helpful. I'm going to try and put in some photos and videos of as much of this, this as I can. Obviously, I don't have clips of every one of these things, but it is super important to include those things. So yeah, I hope this video was helpful. It was a bit of a short one, but packed full of information, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!